ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another exciting episode of Brews and Barbecue. Today we are doing something super, super fun that I remember as a kid watching my parents make on hot summer days just like this. And today we're gonna be making Mexican style ceviche. Now I know there's a lot of different styles of ceviche out there and everybody claims to be king. And there's many different things that people use for ceviche. People use fish, people use shrimp, people use fish, shrimp, and octopus. I mean, there's so many different ways to make ceviche. And I'm gonna show you guys my way of making the best ceviche that's out there. At least in my opinion, right? But without further ado, enough talking. Let's get inside and show you guys how to make the best simple ceviche that you're ever gonna have. Let's get after it. Here are the ingredients we're gonna be needing for today's cook. Two tomatoes, one orange, a cucumber, one white onion, eight limes, cilantro, and last but not least, your shrimp. The first thing we're going to need for prepping is one large bowl. The next step is dumping in our shrimp. After you've put in your shrimp, set the bowl aside because we're going to be needing it for later. The next thing we want to do is cut our limes in half. We're going to want to push our limes aside and make room for our bowl. The next thing we're going to be doing is squeezing all of our lime juice into the shrimp bowl. Make sure you use all eight limes because this will be the actual cooking process for the shrimp itself. The acidity from the limes will slowly cook the shrimp. And that's why this dish is easy to prepare, but it is a long process. After you finish squeezing all your limes, it's time to get a mixing spoon and give it a good few tosses. After which, we're going to want to saran wrap the bowl and place it in the refrigerator. While our shrimp waits and cooks in the lime juice, the next thing we're going to do is start prepping our veggies. The first thing you want to do is cut the ends off of your onion. You want to make sure you peel the green outer layer off of your onion. The next thing we want to do is make nice fine cuts along the onion. Turn the onion and make the same cuts along the other way. Now that we've made our cross cuts, it's time to start cutting down the side and making our fine pieces. After you're done doing that, your pieces should look a little something like this. You're gonna wanna repeat the entire process with the rest of the onion. After you've gotten all your pieces of onion, you're gonna wanna place it aside in a bowl. Now it's time to start preparing our tomato. You're gonna to wanna to turn it on its side and start making fine cuts throughout the tomato. The trick to it is not making too many cuts that are too thin. Now you do not have to use both entire tomatoes. I use about one and a half tomatoes for about two and a half pounds of shrimp. Now that we've gotten our cuts of tomato, it's time to start cutting them vertically and then turning the tomato and cutting it horizontally. That'll give us the nice tomato cubes that we're gonna need for our ceviche. You're gonna wanna repeat the process with the entire tomato. And again, you can use half a tomato for the rest of it. You don't need to use two full tomatoes for this. After we're done chopping our tomato, it's time to add it to the bowl and set it aside for later. Now we want to start chopping our cilantro. 
The good indicator of where to cut is right above that rubber band that comes with the cilantro. You always want to make sure you rinse it and dispose of the end pieces. A good way to cut cilantro nice and fine is actually bunch it together and start making fine cuts and pushing the cilantro along the knife. If you find any big pieces throughout it, no problem. Just be sure to bunch it back together and start chopping one more time. Once I'm done chopping my cilantro, I always like to take the blade through it one more time just for good measure. We're gonna set our cilantro aside into the bowl and it's time to move on to our next vegetable. The first thing you want to do with a cucumber is peel it. This seems like a no-brainer, but trust me, I've seen people do it without it. You're going to want to remove all the unneeded cucumber peels and put them aside. Now it's time to cut our cucumber in half and process it very similarly to what we did the tomato. Make fine cuts along the cucumber and then make horizontal and vertical cuts. And you're definitely gonna wanna make sure that you process the entire cucumber. Grab our handy bowl that has all of our other vegetables and add the cucumber to the bowl. And last but not least, we're gonna wanna cut our orange in half. This is the last thing we're gonna add when we add all of our vegetables to the shrimp. Our shrimp has been cooking in the lime juice for about 15 minutes now and you can kinda see a color difference to it. The next thing we're gonna wanna do is add all of our vegetables that we just diced up. Be sure you don't leave any vegetables behind, scrape the bowl out. Now that we've added our vegetables, it's time to give it a good toss. You wanna make sure you mix it really well so the shrimp interlaces with the vegetables. Now that we got a good mix to our ceviche, it's time to add the orange. Be sure to squeeze the other half of the orange as well. This is gonna give it a nice rich flavor. Give it a nice good few tosses and we're ready to add the secret ingredients. The next thing we're gonna add is some ketchup. Now add the ketchup to your liking. This gives it a nice different flavor, almost like a shrimp cocktail. Again, give it a good mix and we're just about ready to add our last and final ingredient. And now it's time to add our last and final ingredient, tapatio. Tapatio is gonna give it that nice kick that we're missing with this ceviche. Be sure to add to your liking, to your spice level. I like a lot of tapatio, so we're gonna mix in quite a bit. Again, you wanna make sure to give it a nice good stir so that it evens out all the flavors. Now that you're done mixing your ceviche, the last thing to do is reapply our saran wrap and put it in the refrigerator for one hour. All right guys, it's officially time for the taste test. That was the longest hour, well hour plus that I've ever had to wait. And it looks and smells amazing. I wish you guys could whiff that through there, but just take a quick little peek at what we got to work with. It turned out amazing. And now you can see that the shrimp's a little bit more pink like it's supposed to be. It's fully cooked through that lime juice. It's still super crazy that the acidity of it would let that happen. Now the only thing left is to give it a taste test. We're gonna be using chips just for the sake of not putting it on a tostada like we normally do, so you guys can get a view for what it tastes like. So I'm gonna let the wife give it a shot first. She's been waiting all day for this. 
How is it? Perfect amount of lime. Perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's the limey. Is that what you would say, foodie? Limey? She's the limey? That's good. Well, has the spice to it? Um, no, not really. Not really? But it's yeah. got, can you, can you feel a little kick at least? No. Okay, so maybe we need to add some extra tapatio. Yeah. I personally think adding some salt and pepper would be a nice, a nice additive. It's not required, but it would be nice to add some salt and pepper. Yes, so, Let's, just give me a nice chip here and give it a taste test. And mom was getting into it. That's right. We've been waiting. All right. Here we go. There it is. That's good. It's yummy. Oh, man. Oh, man. Perfect, perfect balance. Typically, we don't add cucumber. We thought we'd do it this time. Lemon. But you can taste the cucumber. Lemon. You can taste the tomato. You can taste the ketchup. You can just perfect amount of lime. It's a really, really good mix. I would recommend you guys try it. Let me get, hold on, guys. Let me get into one more here. Oh, man. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to continue munching out here. If you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And we're going to be doing a lot more videos just like this one. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a comment down below. Let me know if you guys want to learn how to make more traditional Mexican dishes. I did my street tacos one, now the ceviche. If you guys want to see some more, drop a comment below and we'll do some good ones. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. And we'll catch you guys on another episode of Bruising Barbecue. We'll see you guys later.